What's going on, you guys? It's your brother Trey. It is currently 702 Central Standard Time, 11 um, November 30th right now. I hope y'all are doing a great. So 2024. And what was it like? My experience of making $100,000 three times with only a high school diploma, you guys, and going forward uh, with the state of the economy and what things are looking like as of right now, you guys. Um... So first and foremost, I just want to say thanks for tuning in. My name is Trey, um, the Duke of Hanover, you guys. And um, I'm going to give you a brief summary of my background, uh, my professional background anyways. Uh, my, my story is way too long. and It's going to take too many videos for me to do that. So I'm just going to give you a brief summary of my professional career and stuff like that, you guys. I've had over 50 jobs. That is right. Yes, over 50 jobs. I'm 28. I'll be 29 next year in March. And... Um, the reason why I've had so many jobs is because um, I've had a lot of issues with uh, happiness, quality of life, and payment, and what is fair. And so um, I was able in 2020 was when things changed completely, right? 2020, I turned 24, I believe, or 25. And I got hired at a, uh, literally on my birthday, I got hired actually at a mortgage company, ended up working up the ranks, ended up, uh, getting registered with the federal government with a loan license. So I could actually, uh, be a loan originator. I could pull people's credit, see their entire life with the press of a button. I'd, uh, write loans. I do uh, check some property online. I would look at their existing loan, you know, yeah, blah, 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 all that good stuff. And um, that was a uh, part of the way that I made my first hundred thousand. I actually made 70K with that job, um, but I discovered the power of compounding jobs. So the job that I was doing was so easy. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me get another job. And so the past three years since 2020, yeah, I've worked multiple jobs and doing it that way, I have been able to make six figures. And um, what I realized was that I was in a good position and then I, I felt like I discovered a secret. I felt like I was the first to, to jump on board for it, especially in 2020. I saw um, another young guy on YouTube talking about it, but I, 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 didn't, I didn't really see anyone doing it the way that I was doing. And so... Um, I'm here to give you guys an update if you are following me on the finance side, especially when it comes to making money and things like that, you guys. I'm here to kind of tell you some things real quick, right? I think that stacking multiple jobs, you guys, is not as easy anymore as it used to be. It is getting tougher and tougher to get quality work from home jobs because a lot of the quality work from home jobs have already been snatched up. They're not hiring in mass as much anymore. And not only that, but AI has truly cut down um, a lot of the labor force because efficiency has been automated and almost guaranteed now with AI. Um, a lot of errors that, are, that humans and people can um, potentially do, it's just more cost effective to just eliminate any errors, any possibilities that things going wrong of any losses of money when you can just get an AI to do it that can do uh, anything on the level of like a fucking genius damn near, you know what I'm saying? If you, I don't know if you guys have used AI chatbots or shit like that, but AI is absolutely fucking fantastic. It's, it's smarter than probably the smartest person you know, you know what I'm saying? And so... A lot of nice AI jobs or uh, tech jobs are, are, are done, are done for you guys. So what I have been doing, um, my most interesting career choice of career for the past five years was content moderation. And I, it first started off with a company where I was contracted with Facebook and Instagram. And I was reviewing the content that you see on Facebook and Instagram back in 2018 um, up until about 2020. And then after that position, I got into uh, moderation for Epic Games. And so I was doing moderation with Epic Games. And um, those are some of the best jobs I've ever had. And I've, I'm blessed and uh, I'm very blessed. And I'm one of the few people on the planet that can say that I've done, I've been able to do these types of things. Uh, there's, there's people out there, but like not too many of them, I, at least from what I know, are vocal about it on YouTube. And not only that, but I mean, I, I got on, I know 
for the people in America anyways, and, and that worked at the job that I was at, there was like three people, they were okay, there was like five or six people from the establishment with the Instagram and Facebook contract that was on the Epic Games contract as well. So I'm one of like five people who've had both experiences on both sides, right? Oh yeah, I also did moderation for Sony as well. So let me, and 2K, matter of fact. But anyways, you guys, 2024, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. It's definitely going to be tough, you guys. I'm going to be honest, not for me, though, right? The reason why it's not going to be too tough for me, and I'm going to talk about myself real quick because I have used this entire channel as kind of like my diary almost in a sense. Um, a little bit more than a diary. It's a very mixed channel. I do a lot of different things. And um, I've also wanted to pretty much con it, like it be a, a pseudo a pseudo documentary of my life. You know, you can actually go back and date things. You know, I've, I've gone through many phases of my life on chan on YouTube, which is what I've wanted to do. I wish I would have did it a lot sooner, a lot earlier in my life. But um, but here we are. And so um. Sorry, the camera's not focusing on me. There it is. Okay. It's because of this microphone. Um, I'm kind of all over the place because I'm smoking a little bit, but like... I was tempted, and I did for the first few years, to spend all that money I was making on jewelry, fragrances nice shit um and i did but i feel like life has it's it's odd and i feel like i've done the right things at almost the the very right moment right because i i'd call myself doing things before trying to catch things before they become a problem and it turns out me even thinking like that i actually am on time like right on time you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not I I'm I'm not as far ahead from quote unquote disaster as I'd like to be. But I think this time, you guys, I did it. I think I did it. Right? I think I've 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 invested a quite a bit of money into um trading. I'll just be honest with you guys. I I believe I truly, truly, truly in my heart believe trading is the way to go, you guys. Um I'm a little scared because uh, what if it goes away, right? What if it goes away? If this goes away, then I'm kind of like, I'm not at lost. I know that I will make the money I want to make. It's just, it's just going to, I know the work it's going to take. And that's just the thing. That's the part that is um, un, uh, not, not favorable, not too attractive, right? Because like your boy done put in so much work and pivoted in so many different areas trying to find the most valuable the most efficient the the best route to make money you guys i've done everything possible and trading is the best thing in the world to do in my personal opinion and i think it has the most value for uh what it what you can get from it and everyone and anyone could benefit from it youtube is amazing as well but Trading, quite honestly, is is probably the best thing you can do. I think trading is the best thing, and then content creating would be the second best. And then you know some form of financing and real estate and is like is like third and shit like that. You guys, those are all up there. And so that's where your boy has been at. And so in 2020, matter of fact, I actually got introduced to IML, and so IML um, introduced me to trading. And I invested quite a bit of money into it. Lost it, of course, you guys. Um, I bought the course for like damn near eight hundred dollars, and then I put another like thousand into the market by myself. Um, and and I spent more time. Like uh, the the membership fee was like two hundred dollars a month or some shit to be involved with it. It was a lot of money. Um, I put a lot of money into it, and then I stopped because I lost it. And I was like, man, but I saw the potential in it. I just stopped it though. And so twenty twenty three, mid twenty twenty three, April May ish. I rediscovered it and the money that I made this year, I was supposed to use it to pay off my $10,000 worth of credit card bills as well as my other auxiliary debt that I had. And what I ended up doing instead was I thought it was a good idea 
to invest it into trading and take the time to truly learn about everything. And, you know, I, like I spent this entire year working three, four jobs, making a good amount of money, spent the great amount of money, you guys. I've been doing really good for myself, you guys. I, it, it, but here's the deal. It's, it's, it wasn't easy. I sacrificed so fucking much, like so much. This shit is so hard, bro. This shit is very hard. Like the only reason it doesn't take me out is because I know how to keep myself going. Like you see me, I'm smoking right now. You know what I mean? I got cats in the background. I I got fucking, you know, like guns and and you know shoes like i i know what i need to keep going and i god i can't tell you how much money i spent on food dates oh lord your boy like to eat man your boy loves to eat and so it's not uncommon for me to spend two three sometimes four hundred dollars on a date man like a dinner date just to eat enjoy you'll get whatever literally you get whatever you want type of shit and if the server's good, man, I'm tipping that motherfucker really good, you know? I done got some amazing... I'm going to tell you what, man. When I was working at Seasons 52, you guys... When I was working at Seasons 52, I had gotten some, like, the craziest tips I've ever known in life, bro. Like, couldn't believe it. Seasons 52 at North Park Mall, you guys. I don't know if you guys have ever been there or not, bro. If you go to... If you go... To North Park, Dallas, North Park Mall in Dallas, you guys. There used to be a Seasons 52. It's crazy. It's not there anymore, bro. That mall has changed so much. I've worked at Forever 21 over there. It's no, Forever 21 is no longer there either. It's Zara. Zara plays Forever 21. So if you go to North Park Mall, bro, the Zara that's there, I actually, it used to be Forever 21, and I used to work at that motherfucker, bro. So that shut down, and then I worked at PF Chang's. Which is over there by uh, Hublot. If you go to go down in Gucci, if you go to the little area where there's like usually some monuments and shit like that, the area where Gucci and Hublot, right down that hallway, was PF Chang's, and it was Seasons Fifty Two right across from that as well too. I worked at both of those restaurants. They shut down Seasons Fifty Two, but let me tell you, man, I done got two hundred dollar tips, three hundred dollar tips, four hundred dollar tips, bro. I should make a video on all the types of the different types of people that I served at Seasons Fifty Two, bro. I think that'll be interesting, man. I got to like, cause that really opened my fucking eyes to, to like, I think it was that experience. And then working for caliber home loans, you guys, those two experiences truly shaped my vision of life, man. I'm not even going to lie, bro. Like that shit, like I elevated, I could feel it. I could see it. I could tell your boy had an elevated when I had those experiences and I've only elevated even like even more since then. You guys got my real estate license. I elevated again. And now in this stage of my life, you guys, it's just I I feel I feel great, man. I feel fucking great. And this is what sacrifice is about. You are not sacrificing for the sake of sacrificing. I remember in like some of the zodiac signs personality types and stuff like that martyrdom is almost a fetish for some people especially like a pisces like myself you guys pisces can have a fetish almost of of sacrificing themselves so they enjoy the quote-unquote um moral feeling superior moral feeling they get by uh, trying to take the higher road as much as they can even though it's literally putting them at a disadvantage i don't i try not to do that man i i, I don't i don't nah fuck that you gotta sacrifice for a purpose you gotta sacrifice for a motherfucking purpose if i'm gonna not be around my motherfucking people if i'm gonna not be around the girls if i'm not gonna be smoking or drinking as much as i'm if i'm not doing the things that i want to do that i feel like i can do should do whenever i want to do just yet if it doesn't make sense, if I can give up doing what I really want to do to do the hard work and the hard work allows me to live a crazy good life for a long time, I'm willing to put the time in now. I spent my good last years of my 20s working my fucking ass off, you guys, my ass off, 23 24 was the t era where I just I changed. I decided to make a change in my life. And now about to be 29 next year, you guys, it was fucking worth it. Your boy done figured it out, man. And I got nothing but great shit coming. 
You know why? It's because reading these books, greatness can be something that is luck, but it's also something that if you truly set your mind to it, you look out for the signs. You know what I mean? You you perk your ears up to the words that are truly penetrating through the bullshit of life that can give you the mental resources you need to overcome things and make the wisest decision in the moment. You know what I'm saying? When you can continuously feed yourself that kind of talk and that type of like those that those mindsets, you can truly consistently make steps of progress within your life you know what i'm saying and that shit is powerful bro that shit is absolutely fucking phenomenal you know what i'm saying and so that's where your boy feels like i've boarded several ships to get ahead of this tsunami that's been coming and just sweeping a lot of motherfucker off their feet bro this shit is like temple run you know what i'm saying you're, you're kind of running, you're comfortable, you know, y'all just having a good little time, and it's like, oh, uh, you know, you don't really see any danger. You know there's something back there, but it's like, it's, it's so far away, and it's never really been an issue, and it's now, like, you know, it's like, you, like, what the fuck, you hear something, and it's like right behind you, so you got to run, you running your ass, you're like, oh my god, it gets close, it's about to, it's about to crush me, you know what I'm saying? Um, And, and then there's other people that you're seeing, and you're like, why, like... Before the, the little thing comes, you see other people running and like you're like, why are they running? You guys are stupid. That thing is so far behind us. Like it's so far behind us. Why are you running right now? And they're like, because I'm trying to get as ahead of this ahead of this boulder as fast as possible. Like I, I see it and I've heard of it. You know, some people didn't even know something behind them because they didn't even care to see what the potential outcome of life could be, the dangers. They just saw the fun and they saw the future and shit like that, man. Look, long story short. 2024 is going to be crazy going forward you guys going forward man i think all of these layoffs are absolutely alarming more so now than ever i mean like i've never been someone for politics right i didn't i never really cared much for politics i think it's both i think it's it's it's, it's pick the 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 lesser of the two evils right type of shit man so you know, and and then plus, anyways, I think that at at a level in life, you gotta understand where some things are just not gonna affect you, bro. Like you, I'm too. If you're making less than like half a million dollars, bro, like honestly, politics don't truly is not really gonna be fucking with you too much. And I know girls are like, oh, well, you can say that because you're not a girl. There's literally people in the politics in in the Senate trying to make decisions for us girls. Okay, first off the only thing that they're really trying to control is you what having an abortion honestly you should, probably shouldn't even be having kids anyways like if you don't have a quality kind of guy like let's just be real about this shit if you're a woman and you got and you you're worried about these these laws and shit like that i mean why seriously what is it gonna how's it gonna affect your life how is it going to affect your life do you plan on even ever having to have an abortion right or is it because you like to live a little more, more recklessly and so having that option uh, to not fuck up, quote unquote, fuck up your life is better. And it's, you feel a lot better because that gives you more leeway to just kind of do whatever the hell you want. You know what I'm saying? I think that's kind of what it is, you know? And so politics is, but but like this unemployment shit that you've seen on the news, man, people getting laid off, bro. You got to pay attention to this shit, man. It's real. It's really, really real, man. People who are making hundreds of thousands of dollars in good software jobs and stuff, man, is no longer a thing anymore. And um, I've worked alongside people who have gotten master's degrees. We in the same position doing the same fucking thing. Or and and these past couple years, bro, I've been making really good fucking money over all these other people too, man, who had these. And so I'm here to tell you as someone who's literally like hustling through this this thing called life trying to fight against the fucking system you guys i'm actively going against the fucking system with intention and with purpose bro this is something that i would not recommend for everybody so when i do give advice bro I, it's not just me talking on my ass man i swear on everything I swear on everything. Like this is not me just talking on my ass. This is someone who's literally put his time, his effort, his is like the shit. I'm never gonna get back, bro. I don't spent thousands of thousands of dollars doing lots of fucking shit. You don't have because I didn't have anyone else around me to 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 say, hey, okay, uh, that venture is not worth it. E-commerce, nah, man, you probably really shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, uh, you actually probably shouldn't go hang out with those people, you know, because you, you know, they've been involved with, you know, like, bro, I didn't really have 
people in my life to put me on game. I didn't have OGs and shit like that to 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 really introduce me. To, so I had to get into this motherfucker, bro. I had to get dig into this shit, this this motherfucker called life, bro, and like learn this shit, bro. And you, it, it's not it is not a good life, bro. I'm telling you, it's not a good life. But you can't let life fucking sink you down. And I didn't do that, bro. I didn't drown. I didn't do that. I kept just getting stronger and stronger. And I'm only going to continue to get stronger and stronger. And that's what you got to do. But you can avoid making life harder for yourself than it really needs to be. It's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. But there are some things you just don't have to experience to know that you just shouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to cut that curve a little bit. Yeah, my word, my videos are a little wordy, and I might be all over the place. But like, man, there's some. I feel I genuinely believe there's some value into this shit, man. And so I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to give that to you guys, like for real, for real, bro. And as somebody that is just like just me, authentic, man. Like, cause it's like you gotta put on a facade. You gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be so many different things to to everyone, bro. Like, you gotta cater to everybody in this world, and it's like. I want to prove that you don't have to. And so it's it's easy for me to do this kind of like from 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 the camera because there ain't nobody really around, you know what I'm saying? But there's still people watching. And so I like that. I don't talk like this to everybody, bro, because I don't believe everyone is worthy of being to talk to like this. But if you tune into the channel, if you tune into me and shit like that, you guys, we can have a vicarious friendship through, through this type of shit where I can try to, you know, guide you on some shit, man. I'm going to be here for a long time, you guys. I don't plan for no short term nothing, bro. We ain't no short term thinking over here. Y'all may think I'm, I'm a fucking dunce or some shit. I don't know what some of y'all think, bro, but it's I'm not what you think I am. But at the same time, I am what you what you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would you say I am? You know what I'm saying? So, but that's what I got to say, man. Um, 2024 is something that uh, I think is going to be very tough for employment. For employment. And um, I'm curious to hear what you guys got. You guys are trying to do, man. I done got laid off from so many dream, great fucking jobs that at, a, at like a couple years ago, I realized actually kind of like this year. And like last year, I realized, man, I can't let a job be like, yeah, I'm making good as money, but I got to get out this shit, man. It's not it's, it's not so much about how much money it is about how much money you make. You got to make a good amount of money like me touching one hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand and three hundred. That's great as fucking money. I've touched the money and I've felt that I've tasted the life. I've lived the life for honestly the past two years, bro. It's been great. My life has been pretty damn good, man. I'm not going to lie because I've been working hard for it, right? But at the same time, since I've touched it, now it's about how I make the money. I would much rather make $50,000 doing trading, right, than $100,000 working four or five fucking jobs working from home and, like, I just don't have time for anything. You know what I mean? I would. So that's the plan. And, this, and then with trading, the better you get at it, the more money you're going to make. And I'm somebody that, and I'm not trying to be cocky, but like, this is just me. I have so much confidence in my skill and my ability to overcome obstacles because of the shit that I've been in through. And here's something that you can learn too. If you're a young person, if you're not a young person, you should really try to really set personal goals for yourself. And then as you continue to knock out those personal goals, it could be something as simple as going to the gym, walking on the treadmill for five minutes before you leave the gym. You know what I mean? Something as simple as that. That's why Jordan Peterson talked about tucking, like cl cleaning your room, you know, making your bed, bro. That's a goal that you can set for yourself. And the more you accomplish that, the more dopamine you, you get, you reinforce good habits, you reinforce the ability to intentionally overcome and manipulate the world bro that's what you got to do and i'm not been saying manipulating in the bad sense i'm talking about like moving you can move the world once you can for, like strengthen that skill of your ability to to imagine something and then manipulate the world to to look what you have in your mind that's where true magic can start happening and so i've tuned that ability and i've in tuned and i've, and I've tuned my intuition and so this trading is now where I'm at, man. And this is going to be the thing for your boy, bro. This year, 2024, going forward, you guys, I'm 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 honestly, I'm at the level where sometime in 2024, you guys, I will be able to quit jobs completely. 
completely. I've had 50 plus fucking jobs and it's just so crazy to be here. I feel like I'm not that old, but at the same time, I am, bro. Like, I'm damn near 30 right now. I can't, like, it took me this long to figure fucking life out, you guys. This shit's not easy, bro. Shit's not easy. But at the same time, I... I've sharpened myself into a motherfucker that's so that's fucking like I'm like bro I'm 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 good bro I'm ready if you the money in my hands bro is I know what to do with it I know what to do with it yo I you know what I'm saying like so it just it's just crazy man it's crazy I'm gonna continue to try to give you guys updates on my life and continue to uh just be open and honest and transparent with you guys with a lot of different things um it's gonna take a long time i'm not saying it's gonna happen overnight but you know it's this is a long-term game man it's a marathon you guys it's a motherfucking marathon so uh yeah let's get on this journey together y'all and um i guess i'll check it with y'all later man it's your brother trey and um let's get ready for 2024 man we got a whole nother month left out of this year so let's do this shit